The predictably tense London Derby between Chelsea and Tottenham Hotspur never fails to disappoint, and this year was no exception. While most will expect the tempers that flare to come from the pitch between players, things were different this time, and it was the coaches, instead, that were at the center of the chaos. Their face-off has inspired this video, and we are going to be taking a look at some of football's most infamous and insane manager fights. Let's dive in. Antonio Conte, Tottenham vs. Thomas Tuchel, Chelsea Unsurprisingly, we begin this video with the recent Antonio Conte vs. Thomas Tuchel face-off. The game that served as a backdrop for their face-off ended in a 2-2 draw. And it comes! Oh, and it's headed in for 2-2. And it was just as tense and as interesting as anyone would expect from two teams playing at the highest level. However, Antonio Conte and Thomas Tuchel started way before the 90th minute after Spurs scored an equalizer. Chelsea felt that Kai Havertz was fouled in the build-up, however their appeal was not heard. To add salt to the injury, Antonio Conte ran to celebrate the goal in front of the Chelsea bench. Tuchel felt irritated with this behavior and he ran to Conte before he was quickly held back. After a couple of minutes, Chelsea also scored and Thomas Tuchel also ran to celebrate in front of the Spurs bench. This didn't provoke a reaction from Conte, but it surely heightened the tensions in the match. At the end of the game, both managers went for the customary handshake and Tuchel pulled his hand, claiming the Italian didn't look him in the eyes. That led to another clash, which saw both managers receiving red cards. Speaking after the game, both managers claimed that no bad blood existed between them and they've since buried the hatchet regarding the incident. Jesse Marsh, Leeds vs Bruno Laja, Wolves After beating Wolves by two goals to one on the Premier League's match day one, Jesse Marsh was caught in controversy with his Wolves counterpart Bruno Laja. Both managers had a heated argument on the touchline. Laja was furious with some of the referee's decisions in the game, while Marsh agreed with the decision in question. When the final whistle blew, Laja began walking straight to the tunnel and appeared to ignore Marsh's offer for a handshake. This did not go down well with the American manager, who shouted some choice words in the Wolves' boss face before Laja fired back along with some arm waving. Just like Conte and Tuchel, both managers downplayed the incident and praised the other in the end. Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool vs Frank Lampard, Chelsea It all started at Liverpool's home ground where Lampard lost his temper for the first time as Chelsea boss when his side was defeated 5-3 by Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. This was also the day the Reds lifted their first Premier League title after 30 years. On this day, Liverpool were looking to finish the season in style, but the Blues had their own priorities as they looked to finish in the top four. Lampard felt that Liverpool were given a free kick in the first half that wasn't worth it, so he vented his frustrations to the referee, but this didn't please Jurgen Klopp and the Liverpool bench. Eventually, it developed into a heated argument with Lampard throwing a couple of curse words at the German. He even went as far as downplaying Jurgen Klopp's Premier League triumph. Reflecting on the incident later on, Frank Lampard admitted to being unnecessarily rude to the German tactician and said that he regretted the incident. Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool vs Mikel Arteta, Arsenal In the 2021-22 season, the Gunners lost to Liverpool by four goals to nil. However, this massive scoreline didn't create the buzz that was expected as a clash between both managers was the center of attention. The bust-up happened after Liverpool's Sadio Mane and Arsenal's Takehiro Tomiyasu challenged one another for a header, with Arteta calling for the red star to be booked. Jurgen Klopp obviously wasn't pleased with this, so he rushed to challenge Mikel Arteta in his face. This led to a serious altercation that saw both managers getting yellow cards for their misbehavior. 
As usual, both managers downplayed the incident after the game, with Mikel Arteta describing it as moments that are left on the pitch. Xavi Barcelona vs Unai Emery Villarreal After FC Barcelona claimed three points against Villarreal in a controversial match at the La Ceramica, the latter's boss, Unai Emery wasn't pleased with some of the referee's controversial decisions. In the early minutes of the game, there was an instance where it appeared like Gerard Piquet had blocked a shot with his hand, but the incident wasn't reviewed by VAR. Then later on in the game, Eric Garcia wrestled Raul Albiol to the ground during a corner, and once again this incident was not reviewed by the referee. After Barcelona beat Emery side 3-1, the Spaniard was furious and got into an intense argument with FC Barcelona's manager, Xavi Hernandez. It was so tense that they had to be separated by the police to avoid further escalation. However, like most cases involving two mature managers, they appeared to settle the feud almost immediately. Emery even went looking for Xavi Hernandez to shake his hand, and the two were said to have made peace. Asin Venga, Arsenal vs Jose Mourinho for Chelsea This face-off is one of the most famous in football history because it involves two coaches who shared a long history of rivalry with each other and who didn't care much for maturity. And when you consider the fact that Mourinho shares rivalry with almost everyone, you might want to know how this one started. Back in the 2004-05 season, Wenger's Arsenal side were heading into the new year as Premier League champions after an invincible season. They were favorites to win that year, however their hopes were crushed by a Chelsea side led by Jose Mourinho in his maiden season. Shortly after his triumph, the tension between these two legendary coaches started to build as years passed. Wenger constantly criticized Mourinho's defense tactics, while the Portuguese coach would call him a specialist in failure. Their rivalry reached a boiling point in 2014 and led to a brawl between Wenger and Mourinho on the touchline. After a challenge on Alexis Sanchez, a riled up Wenger headed to the direction of Mourinho before giving the special one a shot to the chest. They had to be separated by members of the coaching crew and other match officials. After the game, Arsene Wenger apologized for the incident, but not to Mourinho. Now, are there any manager clashes we missed that deserve to be on the list? Let us know down in the comments, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, see you next time.